Okay, now let's finish up example five. Like we were saying, after we factor w squared plus 8w minus 33, we should have came out with a positive 11 and a negative 3. Once again, we look at the negative 33, and then we ask ourselves, through multiplication, how can I come out with a negative 33? Once again, through multiplication, how can I come out with a negative 33, but through addition, come out with a positive 8? So if I want a negative 33, both parts being positive would make no sense. 11 times 30, 11 times 3 is a positive 33. 3 times 11 is a positive 33. Does me no good. So once again, one has to be negative, one has to be positive. Well, a negative 11 times 3 is a negative 33. But if I were to add a negative 11 plus 3, that would give me a negative 8. So that's no good. 11 times a negative 3, that would give me a negative 33. And when I add those, 11 plus a negative 3 would give me a positive 8. So once again, my answer is 0 is equal to w plus 11 times w minus 3. Now i got to set them both equal to 0 because of the 0 property. The 0 product property, excuse me. I get w plus 11 is equal to 0 or w minus 3 is equal to 0. I add 11, excuse me, I subtract 11 on both sides, minus 11, minus 11. I get that w is equal to a negative 11. Or I come out with adding 3 on this side, adding 3 on this side, that w is equal to 3. The banner cannot have a negative width, so the width is 3. Negative 11 is thrown away. Okay, now if you confuse on the diagram how they go from here to here, I'm going to try to help you out. Now, it won't be pretty, but I'm going to try to help you out. All right, do you see how they put them both together? All right, all they're doing there is this. These two ends, this end here and this end here, they end up matching. All right, they end up matching. And the way you do it is, see this line right here? Make that one first, but make it horizontal. So you go like this. Okay, and then the angle cut is now like this. All right, and then right here is where your 90 degree angle is now. Everybody follow? Okay, so now this one here, this side, it becomes like right here. All right. And so now you got this going up like this, and that's going like that, all right? And then it comes down like so. Dot it, all right? Then, of course, now you got this end over here. All right. Now, can you see that? So that means that from here to here is four feet. All right, this piece right here from the blue to the red vertical line, that's your W. And then, of course, this right here is your four feet. And then you already know that's W. And, of course, this would be W. And it's four up here again. And four up there again. All right, so hopefully that makes it a little bit clear of how it went from went from here to here. Now, the only other way you can see this is to actually cut this out, make a drawing, and then cut it out. Make a drawing, cut it out, and then put them together, and then you see how they form. Okay, with that in mind, we can go ahead and get start, started on tonight's work. Don't forget, we're doing the odd, all of the odd.